Morning, people. I just come back from test. Uh, the time has come to finally sort out the struggles. <laughs> I've got to now. It's forcing me to. It's been telling me. I mean, this starting problem. What I've had. I've had a starting problem on it. Draining battery for oh two years. This draining battery thing. Eh? Uh, and now. Uh, it's struggling to start every time. It is literally on its last leg of starting every time. And all. Even if I jump out, disconnect the battery, connect it back up again, it struggles to start. So it's buggered the battery, I reckon, with all the draining has done. The battery's just still under warranty, I hope, anyway. Uh, I've got to do, this water leak has got to be on the joke, where I just, this morning I went to test, filled it up with water, I just went literally five mile, beep, water light comes on. So it's absolutely hoofing out water now. It's random and all where it's leaking from. Me and Alex looked last night. It's like leaking from the middle here. So I've got to have a look at that. That's why I got it on the ramp. Uh, I've got to sort out the inside of it because my signs fell off. Look, look, my signs there. Look, my man, look. Diane, look at him. Oh, poor mess. Look. Oh. Uh, yeah, I've got to sort that out. So I've got to, I've got to do it. You know, I've got work on, but sometimes you've got to prioritise things. It's, it's going to it's going to give up the ghost, isn't it? I mean, it's past the point of no return now. This poor old boss, my poor, it's been telling me and all for ages, hasn't it? You know when someone tells you, and it gives you little warnings, and it gives you more warnings, and now it's got to the point where I can tell the bus is going to say, right, that's it now, I've had enough, I've been warning you for ages. <laughs> <laughs> Bloody hell. I've got work on, but you've got to prioritise. I can't do any work without my bus, can I? So let's have a look at these water leaks and that. It's not leaking now. Like, and then, oh, perhaps it's got no water in it. That's perhaps why it's not leaking, because... I seem to think it was leaking from here when me and Alex seen it. But where's that then? Is that... Oh, it's just tripped on me then, look. Bugger it. Yeah. What's that? Oh. So is it my cab then? It must be. That must be my cab, innit? Yeah, it's in my cab, look. Under my driver's seat. Oh, it's tripping again. Right, let's, let's have a look at them seats, see what's on them seats. Lear Dag, I'm going to have to move you, I'm afraid, Lear Dag. I'll tell you why, it's bad, isn't it? When you, look, I've got water down here, look. It's bad, you know, isn't it? When you've got that much junk on, on, on your floor, you don't even know whether you've got a water leak in your car. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I had that lot, I've got a bag down there. That bag's been on the floor for, oh, I've been ages, man. Oh, yeah, a lot as well. Uh, I got a delivery uh, the other day, big everything from Amazon. I'm like, what the hell's in this? Uh, and it was it, it was off Tom. Wait there, uh, Tom McLaren, McLaren, Tom McLaren, big everything. I thought, what's this? I found it. Opened it. It's me Foster's, isn't it? Cheers, Tom. It's my birthday tomorrow, mate, as well. So I'll have a drink on you, mate. Thank you very much for giving me that, Chris. Amazing how you're not afraid to tackle anything. The videos are entertainment gold. Struggle on and enjoy these on a Friday. Oh my God, and it's Friday tomorrow, it's my birthday, Tom. So they are. Thank you very much, mate. Cheers, buddy. And somebody else sent me this lot. Look at this lot. This this is a lot of time and effort to be put into this. Look here, lot. Look. Please be advised that the products within may have been produced in a far off land and may contain a high level of Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Look, struggle <a> warning. <laughs> Chinesium. Contain high levels of Chinesium. <laughs> Classic. He wrote me a big letter here and all. That's cushy thought though, isn't it? How, how people think of this, I do not know, you know. A lot of thought and effort goes into this, doesn't it? This bloke here as well, he's told me a bit of background about himself, like where he used to work and that. And it's really interesting, you know, to read it and that. I, I like... Oh, my van's on the move. Oh, oh, does it want to go away? Where's it going? You know, I like to have a bit of an insight of who looks at my channel and that. It's interesting to see, all the, uh, uh, you know, how people have grown up and all that lot. Oh, Lee Dag, Richie's got you a present here, look. Look at this lot. Number one guard dog struggler. Uh, energy boosting treats for the famous Lee Dag and chums at home. Oh, Yeah, they're, them there, they're uh, flappy discs and that. They're always handy, they are, Rich. Look, flappy this there, look. Uh, and this is a flexible torch. Yeah, so thank you very much, Rich. And thanks for sending me your letter and all of your thing. I did read it all and it's, it's interesting how, how, how the other people grow up, isn't it? And what they do for a living and all that lot and all the little things what we've come across. It's it's uh, nice to share it. So thank you very much, mate. Yeah, this water leak, well, it's under there then, isn't it, if it looks a bit. Well, let's just have that off and have a look. Be a heater matrix, won't it? 
That's what it'll be, people. Really shed no light on the situation, has it? I'll tell you what I could do with a little flex headed torch. And what do you know, Rich? I've got one here. Oh, can anything else fall on me? Oh, it's there. Look, you can see the red rust down here, look. Yeah, and it's going down. Oh, I know why it's not all. That's why there's only a bit on me mat here, because it's going under my mat. It's going under it here. Ah, oh, that's why. Oh, is that the eater matrix there? Oh, my God, that looks a freaking nightmare, that does. Oh, that's all this dash out, all the plastics off. My God. Look, all that in there, look. All the way across. Oh, this could be a job now, this is, isn't it? Oh, no. I wonder if Stuart, my I'm eco specialist, he'll know how big a job it is, won't I? I can't get through to Stuart, but I know what I'm going to have to do. I'm going to have to take all this off, aren't I? I'm going to have to take all this. Well, I'll take the centre console out first, see if I can see what I'm doing. Oh, this is going to be a job, this is. Thinking of a simple fix, like, like, <laughs> you know what I was like? I was thinking just to bung the pipes off, going to the heater matrix, uh, heater matrix. And now I've got a little Chinese night heater in there. I thought, hmm, just rig that Chinese night heater up. Don't need a heater matrix, do I? The fan don't work anyway because it's, it's food barred. That's another thing that needs doing. That needs disconnecting, that fan. Because I'm pretty sure, oh, it's got leaves in it. I'm pretty sure that's what's draining my, my battery all the time because that keeps on going. Oh, this is going to be a job and a half, isn't it? This is like a major job. Look at it all. It's all look how many screws you've got just holding air vents in and that. My God. Strip in there. Best see how much one is, isn't it? If we can get one. How much would it be on this? Like about £900,000 or something? It'd be, it'd be dear, but. Right, just got a phone to ask Stuart. It's good to have an IV eco specialist on, on, on the other end of the phone, isn't it? He's in Germany at the minute. Uh, he's the main IV eco like, like man, like one of the main men there, uh, mechanics wise. And he does like racing trucks. He, he does everything with the sounds of it. Anyway, he says, yeah, to, to take that matrix out, you need to take these seats out, because he says you can't get, which is what I fucking, I said, I know, you can't get, can you? He says, no, you're easy to take your seats out, and then you can actually get to it. He says, but to do it all properly uh, is about a day, a day and a half. And he says, that's when you know what you're doing. So I says, oh, I'm not doing that now, am I? <laughs> Suck that. As I says to Stuart, it don't work anyway. My fan don't work anyway. My blower, look. My blower don't work. Look, no blowing. Look, I've just took that off, look. While I was on the phone to Stuart, I could took this off, look. Because then I can just do this. Listen to that. And it's off. And hopefully that'll stop me power draining that. That's all it needed, look. God, I do leave stuff, don't I? Uh, yeah, and all I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, you see them parts there? They, they go to the heater matrix in and out. Uh, I can't get to the other end of them parts because we're at the bulkhead right in there. So I'm just going to get my hacksaw. I'm going to take the bottom one off. Get my hacksaw, cut the top end, and then join that to the bottom one there, look. So it's just just piping it up together. So that does that job. And then I've, uh, I'm going to put my night eater under, that's where Stuart's got his, under them seats there. Because obviously you need a exhaust out, blowing it in this way, blowing into this way, probably through here somewhere, through there, blowing into it, I don't know, somewhere. Or further. I don't know, I'll figure something out, don't know. That's the plan. Let, let's let's start, Lee Deck. Pull it deck, pull it deck. Pull it deck! I'm taking this as well, this Jubilee. I'm taking you. Right, now that snip, we simply turn it like that and then put it onto there, like thus. Oh no, I need a Jubilee clip. Don't forget the Jubilee clip, Chris. Look at that. Look at that now, people. That, my friends, is what I like. Now, some people may say that's a bodge, but it's not a bodge, because a bodge is a temporary fix that's not going to last very long. That is a permanent fix that's going to last the life out of this vehicle. Unlike... The Chinese 90s one I'm going to put in. I bet that don't outlast the life of this vehicle. Well, I'm going to top it up with water now. Run the engine up. 
Super lose any water. Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> Why are we doing all this? I might work late, I go. I have. <laughs> Sorry, Lead. Dad. Daddy was getting excited because I think I fixed the van. And you're going to have a nice little tiny night eater. I wondered why I had no temperature gauge. And it's because of this. No dripping, baby! Look, no dripping in there either. See how I fix that? Quite simply. A simple fix, guys, is always better than a complicated fix. That's what the struggler says. I've got to get that box out there. That's got my Chinese night eater in. Not even opened it yet. Off eBay. 120 odd or something. Something like that, anyway. Napa racing. Thank you, guys. Ah, this whole junk. Oh, look at that. I lost that ages ago. How did that possibly get in there? That's good, isn't it? Found that. Crush tank. Ah, oh, that brings back memories. The gardening struggle. The farming struggle. Ah, I never did read them books. <laughs> Perhaps you ought to done, Chris. You may have had a crop then. Mm, true, true. Oh, little, isn't it? Well, I don't think you can get any simpler than that, can you? Surely not. Oh, you've got your pipes there and exhaust, and that one I'm going to pour out the bottom of the floor. Hey, Lenny Ben, and a bob. Careful, Bob, that's my new night eater, Bob. Oh, oh yeah, and then you've got your outlet pipes. What's that, air intake? Steady, Bob, Bob. And then your power lock. I was going to heat the back up, but what's the point? It's not like I'm like bloody working in the back of my van. I can't even fit in my van with all the junk in it. Yeah, I'm just going to heat the front up. Sod it. Yep, yep, ah, uh, yeah, yeah, ah, uh, yeah, I know what it means, yeah, perfect. We know what it all does then, don't we, Bob? Right, that's the exhaust, that's the inlet, so the exhaust goes on there like that, that's the inlet that I'm just going to suck from in the van like that, inlet. Right, I've got an auxiliary battery in here, there, look, but I think that's about buggered as well, but that's what I'm going to run it off, an auxiliary battery. I've got them there, they charge, they, they ran off my van, so I can charge an auxiliary battery up. So I just need to get another auxiliary battery, don't we, my little angel? Show everybody how fast you can go on your bike. Go on. Whee! Hey! Look at that. Right, I'm back on it again. I'm forever getting sidetracked here. I've just mucked out my van again. I've done another job. I've, I'm back here again. I've just put that in there. But now I need to know where that exit comes out from, don't I? So I put in gear and I put the handbrake on so it doesn't roll on me. <laughs> Look, it's my buddy, lot. Buddy's here, everyone. Hey! Just you is here. Uh, uh, bad water leak, so uh, it's quite like meter matrix in there, but meter don't work anyway, does it? The fan. So I've, I've blanked that off and I've bought one of these Chinese night eaters a bit ago. Putting that in there instead. Where are you going to put your At the bottom. That's where I'm just going to look now. Yeah, it'll be all right, yeah, no there. Fuck it, I'll just drill it, look. I'm not sure now, you know, which one is the outlet because they both fit on each each one. I'm thinking, oh, you got a bit, yeah, I don't want to drop, just put a bit in here and I'll strike it up then. So all I need to do now is just put power to it now. I'm going to strike up the bus and plug that in, like what you said, plug it into the fucking mains. Oh, shit, is that all then? No, I don't want it filling, that'll do. I only want one bit in it, fucking hell. All right, let's plug it in first. <laughs> well, mate, if you plug it in, mate. No, it's on. Tells you the bolts in the battery, so that's good. Oh, wait, I'll burn it. Because I've. Ah, the old Chinese in the that's just on off in the heat up and down. Simple, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's going to take off. Oh, it's some heat kicking out there now, people. I'll just put that on, though. The air intake. Leardag, you're going to be toasted warm, Leardag. Oh, that's lovely. Let's get it parked in. 
I think the exhaust is smack, it's making the rubber smell. Right, I've done some precise measuring there with, uh, with eyesight. And I think if I go for about there, that would be perfect. Let's go for that. Look that, people, look, look at this. Look at that. All the way to the floor. I oh, know, I could make it really long, but I have a stack pipe, can't I, coming up the side? <laughs> so it goes underneath from up here. Low end Yeah. Oh, look at that. Shall we plug her in? Hey! I'm going to do a hole now in here so I can take them out so it can... Oh, it's going to be tight though, isn't it? Ooh, I might have done that the wrong way, you know. Two bit, buddy. Bye, guys. Bye, buddy. It doesn't really matter where you chuck them out from because it chucks that much heat out. I'm just going to do another one there, look, just to chuck it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be like directed to your feet because there's that much heat being thrown out of it. <laughs> Lay down, it's going to be toasty warm. I've got to pick up them batteries tomorrow. Obviously, it's not on the auxiliary battery. It's just on my, my uh, what's it called? The voltage. What's it called? The inverter. It's on the inverter. So I can only have it on when the engine's running, can't I? But tomorrow I'm going to get a new battery for there. I'm going to get an auxiliary battery for there. And then while it's up to my auxiliary battery. <laughs> Very prosperous. Now that's a right, look. That's where the outlet is, look. Ah, that'll do, won't it? Right, I've just secured my board up again. So it's not going to come off because I put massive tech screws right through the bulkhead. Ha! That's time that's going to fall on my head, isn't it, Lee Dag? Look, Lee Dag wants to go inside. He's getting tired now. Nah. I've took Birdie's babies in with me as well. So we'll catch up with you tomorrow. Yeah, we will. Be tomorrow soon. Like, right now. Right, Alex has just been. I'm going to sort this van out today. I've decided it's my birthday day, so sod it. I'm going to uh, treat myself by sorting my van out. I'm going to put work lights in the back. I'm going to rig up this properly uh, to me, uh, to an auxiliary battery. What I'm going to buy another auxiliary battery. I'm going to treat myself and buy a battery. Two batteries, not one, two. I'll we'll buy one for the van, an auxiliary one. Uh, to run everything else off and then i've got in the back there i'll show you it because i've had this van now four or five year and i'll find a switch in the back where i've got work lights in the back like point out the back which i didn't even know i know i had the work lights but i thought there was disused but he found a switch switched one in the work they also had a look at all my inverters and that because i've got a load of inverters in there that was already in the van and he says really you've got everything here to charge your auxiliary battery up so your auxiliary battery charges up and it doesn't lose charge of your main battery if you know what I mean. I don't know. But I would part and I'll pick up some parts. Let's go. Classic Christmas, this is it. Hey, I love Christmas. You're gonna have snowman at Christmas. Well, that should be on the warranty. That's a bar. That's got three-year uh, bloody thingy my bar, hasn't it? Warranty on it. I know for a fact I've done it in three years. I know for a fact I've I've got all my gear, I think. I'm only working. I'm going to fix I'm going to fix the van up at, uh, where Alex is working. So he's only on the industrial seat down the road here. Because then, obviously, I can drag him off his job to help me, can't I? <laughs> I got all that. £364 in total it come to, including that. That's for two batteries. Obviously, that one, I paid for the one that I want warranty on. I need to pay for it first, and then when I've took it off, I'll take it back into them, the old one, and then it'll get sent away, see if it's uh, if I'm able to get warranty on it, which I've, I'm pretty sure, well, I fucking hope I'm going to do anyway, because obviously it's getting charged. It's, it's, it's charging at 14.2, and it's not keeping its charge, is it? So It's my birthday today, and the van's having a birthday, isn't it? The good old bus. It's a bloody good bus, this is. It's lovely and warm now, Lee Doug, as well. Look, these boys have all come out for my birthday today, and thank, thank you, boys. That's what you're all here for. You're... <laughs> Deep on the Cheers, Daryl. Cheers, mate. Cheers for that, Daryl. Thank you. Right, even Roxanne's turned up for my birthday. Al's just got what you got. YouTube partner. Oh, it's a partnership because he's got his hours in, like the yes. hourly watch rate, 4,000 hours or something. 3,000. 3,000. I take 4,000, yeah. That's next goal, 4,000 hours. Keep oh, watching. of course the Al. I'm chuffed for you, mate. Do I need to get some cable for this, Al? Uh, no, it might have 
Oh, that I can't can help with. What's cable? That I can help with. All I've got to do is. Is that my birthday present, does but a cable? Yeah, take it off down there, can't you? Yeah. Then put that. Oh yeah, put that wherever onto, I, onto, I isolate. Oh, no, put there on that to isolate, and then put your isolator. Oh, no, not near that. Look, this is what I've got, look. This is what I've got in my van, look. This is behind my socket rails. This was already in it when I bought the van, not the battery, obviously, I've just bought that. But this stuff here, that's my inverter. This has been disconnected and that's been disconnected. But Al says that that is a thing what uh, charges your battery up, your auxiliary battery. Uh, but then, uh, you know, if this auxiliary battery goes flat when I'm not running the engine, it won't drain, it like switches it off so it won't drain your main battery. You know what I mean? Which is handy, because normally what I used to do, I've got some jump leads off here, look. These these jump leads, I know disconnected now. They run round there to there, my auxiliary battery there, and I just take the terminals on and off. But obviously it's right cracky way of doing it because then you take the terminals on and off all the time, you forget about them, it drains the battery, all that for jazzle. But yeah, that's that. Oh, back to how it used to be in here. Straight away, guys. Well, as you can see, I hurried a little bit up. When I first got it, must have had a fault with it. So I just took the battery off and connected all these up. I don't know what I did, really. <laughs> I really don't. But I was just trying to, like, work it out. It's like that. That needs connecting to your vehicle, to your battery. vehicle battery there. Yes. And then he's going to test then. I don't know. What's this thing, there? What's that? I don't why know. they got I that? Even, What's that for? Yeah, I don't understand why they put this in. This must just be a battery conditioner of some sort. Is it because these are ever so temperamental on the electrics? He said something about it having something that doesn't interfere with the ECU or something. I, I can't remember. It's even switched on and told us it's working. Yeah, that's the problem. So why have I disconnected? I don't understand why I've disconnected it. I must have disconnected it for a reason. Oh, it's only got, got 4.6 volts now. What, coming really out of it? Yeah. Yeah, Al said, we're doing away with this now. We don't need that on. That's doing its job. He's just tested it. That's coming on like on and off when voltage sensitive. voltage sensitive yeah so now i'm going to take, take that completely off because it's just a waste of space and weight in it take all the wires out that's the, that's that that's the, tidy hey. tidy that's right tidy, tidy getting rid of what we don't need i to put the worst day to this good <laughs> 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 freaking hands are freezing here we've just been trying to run that wire down here honestly my hands are freaking numb it's cold it looks sunny doesn't it it's sunshine because don't we all about it's sunshine a lot of bright sunshine, we're in the shade and it's absolutely freezing. <laughs> Worst day for electrical work. Freaking electrical shit again. I know, if we turned it round, we'd be all right, bro. Yeah, I know. Takes the chill off. Oh, we're not. Yeah, we have to do it in the shade, obviously. I'm going to spin it round because... Oh. I'll tell you what, it's good job I've got a mate electrician, isn't it? Hey guys, it's under this, isn't it, having a mate and an electrician? Can you imagine how much it costs you if you had to get someone in to do it? I recommend everyone ought to have one mate, at least one mate, as an auto electrician. Because it comes in very handy, that does. Obviously, you need a mate as a bricklayer and a builder. You need a mate as a uh, plumber, a mate as an electrician. Uh, what, other, what other jobs have we got that are really handy in everyday life? Obviously, a mechanic. Everyone needs a mechanic as a mate, obviously. Yeah, somebody that's got a big empty van is always yeah. under it. <laughs> I dread when I get out looted on the road, Mosh. I'll be having more phone calls. I may as well turn it into a higher firm, I should think. Yeah. Isn't it? Look, it's like a race against time. And Leadag's shaking here. I need this done quick. Quick, Al. We need it done quick, ladies. Good as shaking here, me dog is before Leadag. Can I plumb these in then, Al, now? Yeah. Yeah, plumb everything in. We're going to be chopping this red wire anyway. So Why? We need a switch inside that. Damn it. We do, don't we? And obviously fuse. For all that You know what you could have done? A lot of fuse. Yeah, you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? What do you say, Al? What do you say? No, it's fuse. Yeah. 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 Yeah? So the fuse oh, in. I know what your fuse is. This is 30 amp cable, isn't That's it? That's right. It's got a fuse in the cable. Yes, yeah, when the cable gets over 30 amp, over it burn hot, out it burns and, through the yeah. cable, obviously. Oh, you see, it's 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 all modern yeah. wiring. <laughs> <laughs> it's 
definitely not just your standard two core wire there. Right, what you could do, and then from the switch we go back onto there. So it's got a fuse in it, is that what you're saying? Yeah, and the switch. Okay, that sounds all right. Yeah, all right, we'll do that. We'll undo all my work. Well, just that one bit. Just that one. Just, okay. Just, just... Oh, smart wagon, isn't it? That's Jamie Key's wagon there, look. And that's his brother, Matt Key. He's who's got these scanners and that. Obviously, he carts around, like, wagons and all that. And Dave's obviously picked up Matt's new trailer for him. Looks a smart trailer. WO and Max trailer. Yeah, and that one's got more jobs to do on it. Nah, hey, hell. Oh, all pretty. Dave! Yay! Yeah, it is Friday, Dave. And as well, it's my birthday. Happy birthday. Thank you, Dave. Thank you, mate. Right, I've just collected 240 volt now. Now I'm going to see if this bad boy switches on with my little remote control here. Yeah. She's powering up, Al. Why have we gone to 12 volt? What do you mean? Why are you not running it off 240? Oh yeah. Right. We haven't left it on the 240. For what reason? Battery power. You're running an inverter. Yeah, that's it. I run an inverter all the time. This is what Al says. Yeah, you just remind me there. <laughs> yeah. I could have left it on that 240 volt, couldn't I? But that means it's running the power through this inverter to then power that little night eater that doesn't even need 240 volt. Look, my night eater's under this chair, obviously, so I have to keep lifting this up to have a look, see what level it's on, look, look. And as Al said, why don't you just chop a bit of plastic out there and then you can see it. <laughs> I like it, Alex. I've got a window then, haven't I? Like, you imagine having a nice new van, you won't be able to do that, would you? I know, you wouldn't want to do that, anyway. Well, you wouldn't want to do it, would you? Well, the struggle bus, you see. It has an this is how Christopher does his installs, you see. Yeah. Look, mate, you can't see it. Well, look, now, yeah. there you go. Now you can see now it, you can see it. <laughs> no bird edges either, I've even smoothed it off. Look, I'm here doing an amazing job of this lot. Obviously, Dave wants me to do his new scan you do all the wire and I, but I ain't got time. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because I'm a professional with what I do, obviously. And uh, I've done all this, ground this all out. Look, so that fits in there, snug as a bug in a little old rug. Look at that, look. Look, seamless, can't even see it. Yeah, and then Al says, what I normally do is just drill a hole the size of that uh, and then just put it through there, look, and then rivet it in, like that. Told me that after I'd done it, obviously, <laughs> after I got the grinder out. <laughs> uh, it does it just to make me look a cunt, doesn't it? <laughs> Basically, that's what he's done it for. Eh? <laughs> oh, well, that's it. That's, that's good. That's a struggle bus feature. Right, Lord, Dave just bought me that lot. Happy birthday, <laughs> Lord. Freaking top man, Dave. Hey, Dave's got a little chihuahua, uh, a female version of Leerdag. I'll show you on this thing, look. I'll, I'll put a picture of it on there, look. Perfect. But they'd, yeah, and these two look, they'd look perfect together. I'll put an image over there. Look. Come a little closer. I want to dance with you. Everything's moving slower. I don't know what it is you do. I've been looking at you all night, trying to figure you out. I just want to make you smile. Perfect together, the wood. Pity our lid, lid dogs had the snip snip. <laughs> He's had the slips of bank and oh, cool leader. Oh, I'm Dave, me fosters, me. <laughs> You're bringing a tear to me, all right, Dave? I'm going to have to crack open a foster. <laughs> I'm going to open it's your birthday. It's your birthday. I will, in fact, yeah, fuck it. <laughs> Look at that, people. Look, the amount of times I disconnect my battery every night, obviously, when I stop the van, I disconnect my battery. Now all I've got to do is that. But as Darren said, Darren said, you do realise you put it there, don't you? And you step, obviously. And I'm thinking, yeah. It says, you know, your kids are going in there. It's like, go! Ah, oh, no! They're going to use it as ladders, aren't they? It's going to last about 10 seconds. That is, we had Birdie getting in there. Can you imagine that? She's going to put her foot there and put her other foot there, isn't she? And leave her off that to get in. But never mind, everything's a struggle, isn't it? Look, lights up as well. Sit down, I've never had a light light up like that. Hey, button light up. I'm, I'm going in the 21st century, the bus, ain't I? <laughs> got, I've got buttons here with lights in it. That work. Just put an earth on it works. Like, I'll talk me that one. I thought, well, is that all it needs to light it up? I'm in the future here, people. <laughs> right, look, look, Al's done me two lot. Work light pointing out. Work light in here. Look, work light in here. And then these two existing lights, what I know was on the bus, but I didn't think they worked. 
And then Alex said this morning, we got a switch on here and the work, it's like, oh my God. These two here, that one pointing outwards, that one pointing outwards. One of my subscribers came the other day and give me that. He come to the yard, he said, I've got a present for you, Chris, and give me that vice. Like, I need to mount that vice in the back. That's my, ne my next job, that, in fact. Yeah, that was Kevin Merchant that give me that. Come at the weekend. He's an old mechanic, about 70 year old, still on the spanners, still struggling away. He says, I'm going to do it all my life. I'm going to do it till, till I can't physically do it anymore because I don't know anything else. But he says that he had, he had that in a van. He's not using it anymore, so he, so he, he gifted it to me. Which, that's what I've always struggled with in this van, obviously a vice. I've never had a vice in it. So that folds up, folds down. Bloody good show, Kev. I'm going to put that in next. Dave's going because he's been up since four this morning. I see. Driving, Friday. you see. <laughs> it's Friday as well, Dave. Yeah, it is. Thank you for the beers, Dave. Much appreciated, mate. Bloody good people, isn't they? I got I'm surrounded by good people, basically, aren't I? I am. I am. Well, you're all right. Look who's here on his posh school kit. Freaking hell. Our elf is here. Look at these people. Look, Kev, look at this. Look at that now. Look at that. Look, look at, at it. it. Look at it. Have I? Are you busy going now? Look at me vice, lad. Best thing you've seen all day, innit? Definitely. That's better than being at school, innit, mate? Better that vice. Cheers, mate. Look at that. at its finest here. Look at that, lot. Hey. Bloody simple but effective. I can even do it with one hand a bit. No, I can't. Look, look at that. Look. Lift that lever up. Clicks, clicks into place. I know, yeah. <laughs> oh, Kev, mate, you're a bloody lifesaver. Uh, I'm going to uh, put your name on it, Kev. That's what I'm going to do. Yeah. I hope I've spoken your name right there, Kev Marchant. I'm sure it is. I'm sure you give me the name. Uh, if I am, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, Kev, for that, mate. Much appreciated, my mate. Fucking ideal, that is. Look at that, in pride of place. Right, now, this is the question, though. We've had that night eater going lot. We've had that going for two hours. We've had lights, I've had the lights on the back there going for a good bit. I've had all this batteries going. Batteries on charge. Yeah, my batteries are on charge. I ain't even show you them. I'll show you when I get back. <laughs> I've mounted all my batteries up and my charges up, so they're all neat. Done all that, but this is the main question. Will it start now? Oh, we have ignition now. That's a good thing. We have ignition. Oh, mate! <laughs> Yeah, we've done no, it, haven't we? So well. Right, I'm going to get McDonald's now for me and uh, Alex. We're going to treat him, being as he did my wiring. Even though it's my birthday, I'll treat him because he helped out with my wiring struggle. So you and spent obviously, all that money on your birthday. Didn't yeah, you? spent all that money on all that gear on my birthday. But it's good to treat the bus. The bus is a birthday as well, isn't it? Uh, obviously, Alex just wants a plain double cheeseburger. Plain, nice plain. So obviously, it's taking a Oh, no, he's wanted, man. Alex is long. Oh, he's got another job on now, look. Oh, poor Al. Look at that, look. A trailer full of struggle buses. Look what Matt's piggyback here now on one of his wagons. Full of new struggle buses. Bloody hell. How good, ain't they? How much is that worth, that trailer full? 30 quid? <laughs> I'm only joking, Ivy. You can't like your Ivy coat. Just put my Mac McDonald's down there, obviously, because that's where I normally put it, because it's going to fall off there. Oh, you feel it, mate. <laughs> it's like it's. Oh. Look at that. That's what Greg's oh. ought to have. Greg Zort, I know warmer than McDonald's itself. Greg Zort to have them. My diesel night eater in there. I think keep their food warm, didn't they? Because their food's freezing. And it's under the counter. They ought to have a night eater blowing on it, didn't they? Diesel night eater. Can't you run it into oh, your thingy? Your air. Into the air, yeah. Into the air, babe. And then it'll just blow throughout. Yeah, because then it'll go everywhere for events, yeah. then, won't it? That's a good idea. I need to get a pipe extension, don't I? Yeah, we need to put a pipe Pull straight yeah. into it. Just yeah, one. You only need yeah. one. You only need one straight in. Well, you've got, the in, you've got a foot one here, haven't you? You can actually push it into that foot one. Yeah, it doesn't matter which one I'm pushing into, because then they'll all lead to one, yeah. won't they? Bloody good idea. We come out with here. We're <laughs> fucking innovators here, aren't we? We are innovators. Lloyd, got some gear, hasn't he? Hey? Yeah, more than enough. Lloyd, piggybacking two Scania's there. We've got two more wagons there. We got two Renaults and summits there. We got a driver there. <laughs> I don't know, right? All go now, and it all coming at once. Look, he's got a wagon there. Look, piggyback in a tanker wagon. Let's see the rest of them. Giant George! Yeah, it is! Yeah, I got you again on camera, George. Bloody good man, George is. Yeah! There he is, the main man himself. I'm, I'm going round your wagons. 
Look, we've got them there, JCBs. JCBBs. Got two more Scania's there. We've got another little one there. I don't know what that is. Oh, Renault, look, Renault. Uh, and then obviously we've got the two, the three struggle buses, and then we've got the pride of the fleet. Uh, well, it's not really his fleet, but it's his dad's lot, Nigel Key, and he's on the fridge. What's he got? Fridge trailer? Yeah, yeah. Pride of the fleet's there, look, Jamie's. That's Jamie's pride of the fleet, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> hey, that's his other brother, Jamie Key. That one's these lot. There's blue. We, you can't decide which which colour to do it. Blue, green, fucking orange, pink, whatever. Oh, lot, I'm on charge, lot. Are you ready, people? Oh, <laughs> bloody good show that man, look, put them there, look, so me, 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 me back, oh, batteries, I need to find a place for these though, really, I was saying to Alex, I could do with mounted here, you know, all my light electric tools, but the thing is, as Alex says, when you have your door open and the rain gets in, it'll wet them, won't it, if they're there, but they would be handy there, because then you don't have to, I know it's not a big job just to climb in your van, like that step, but I just like to like bend in, you know what I mean? That's why I like them there, because I can reach them up without climbing up a step. I don't know, we're funny things, aren't we, as humans, don't we? We need to put stuff to hand. Just that one step is too much for us. Alfie did see this and think to himself, my God. Until your batteries go flat. No, yeah, it won't. This is another thing you see. Oh, you've got ah. a split charger, Eli. No, yeah, I've got a split. Yeah, that's it. I've got a charger. Oh, I'll start to you. Make yours, like you <laughs> say. Mate. So, and I've got a brand new battery in here. And I've even put an isolated switch on the outside of it. Battery from where, though? From Partick. That's going to last a year. It's not from China. <laughs> not from China, mate. <laughs> it's not Chinese, yeah, mate. It's not Chinese, yeah. Look, I've even got pet food for Leodag. What more can you ask for? I best tidy my van up then, Anna. Being as it's a mess now. It's awesome, isn't it? Look, Al needs to keep his engine running for Roxanne, look. Doesn't he? He needs to keep you warm, doesn't he? Keep his engine running. Not me. Night eater in there. Beautiful. Lear dag lot, toasty warm, even looks red up. <laughs> Isn't it? Is it actually glow glowing red because it's that warm? Well, that's why I like to see lot. Young Alfie lot comes home from school, gets his school kit off in the in the office or whatever, in the thing, eh? Gets changed into his work gear, he's out here fessing about with Laurie's lot. Hey, that's dedication for you, innit? You don't see many youths like that today, do you? They go over and play on the computers all day, but not our Alf lot, he's jumping wagons. Hey, Alf. That's how it's done, mate, isn't it? I can see the future in you, Alf. Well done, mate. Well done. Good lad. Are these special order or are these just standard? Uh, these are standard. Are they just standard, though? Yeah. You don't get them in, so just What's that for? It's like when, when you extend. Yeah. You put the extenders in. Oh, it's got the extend. Oh, it's, oh, it's extending yeah. trailer, this, is it? You can do it so that you extend that, put that in the middle, and then put one extender that. Oh, side right. Oh. Side. Oh, it's an extender trailer. I didn't realise. Bloody hell. Good bit of kit, Alf. Good bit of kit. That's another new one, isn't it? What you've just got. Yeah, that's what he's got. No, well, Alex hasn't said it, but he's going to put some lights on it, isn't he? what Alex is doing. Another brand new one. Over there, just talking as he normally is. Uh, of course, Alex, you see. Look, just talking Alex away, look. Just talking. Just talking now. Normal. Talking about this. Talking got the job done. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he has took the dash out, look. Who's having this one then, Alf? Do you know? Or is it a big secret in the fleet light? Yeah, big secret. Ah, big secret. Same as the trailer, you don't tell who's having yeah. that either, do you? <laughs> I know it's like he's all his places, mate. Everything. As soon as the new wagon comes, everyone's like rubbing. As soon as the drivers come in, who's having a new wagon? Yeah. Ah, secret. Yeah. Right, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Happy birthday to me. Happy birthday to my van. Yay! <laughs> now I'm going to go back and drink loads of Fosters. Obviously. <laughs> Obviously. Bye, Roxanne! Beautiful dog. Bye YouTube. Yeah, it's gonna be YouTube. Catch you on the next one. Woo woo! Yeah, you will, Alf. Bloody good man, Alfie.